Hello my YouTube fan. Yes, you over there. You know who you are. <laughs> um, right, something different today on this diverse channel. What are you going to do now? Well, these are walks. Well, walk the four, Tony. Well, I'll tell you walk the four. These are a latest project. What would you make out of them? Apart from the obvious, a walk. <laughs> or a bulb, sta uh, bulb saver. No, it's not that neither. It's a collection of walks. And you'd be amazed when these are finished, honestly. They really, really are good for garden ornaments. What you do is, you paint them red, after some undercoat, of course, and then you put white spots on them, and they look terrific. They really are amazing. You drill a small hole in the top and uh, you just screw it to a post in the ground. Get a couple of different sizes. Well, I'd, I've got three on mine. How, how big is that? Yeah, I think that I think that'd do. One, two, three. So what I've done is I've broke the handles off or ground them off and then I've welded them in with, uh, with a MIG welder. Yeah, I think it'd be quite difficult with a stick. But if you persevere, you can do it. Flushed it off. Then what I want to do is paint it white. Uh, sorry, paint it with undercoat. So you paint it with undercoat underneath first, then stand them on some paint tubs or whatever. Paint the other side with the undercoat. And then you can uh, put your red gloss coat on, then your white coat. Okay, having done the insides of the so-called mushrooms. I'm not too impressed with this paint though. Um, still feels a bit sticky in it, it's a couple of days afterwards. So I'm going to go back to tried and trusted Amorite Red Oxide Primer. So that's what I'm going to put on the top side of these now. Already look like mushrooms, don't they? Little fat stubby ones. This is something you can do yourself for your garden. It's an interesting project. I mean, okay, even if there's a couple of holes still left in it, you can just put them to the back. You do, if, you, if you don't weld or you can't get them welded, it doesn't matter. You can always point them out of the way. So let's get these painted now. And there they are. Totally look different now, don't they? It's a bit of paint just hides... Uh, the true identity of what we're using. Paint covers a multitude of sins. <laughs> yeah, just gotta wet, let that dry and then uh, put the red gloss on then. So now, now that we've got the oxide finished, it's the nice, lovely red gloss. So, Look at that. I don't think this is the uh, stuff I used before. It doesn't seem thick enough. I'm just going to paint one with it and see how it looks. I think you only had to put one coat on before. This is not a I got robbed down at tip. Meant no wonder they give me it. Useless. It's not as thick as other. I'm gonna end up putting two coats on this. And if there's one thing I hate, it's putting two coats of paint on something. It's really water. Anyway, we'll persevere, see how it goes. dry better than it looks. Just have to be careful with the strokes and there's bits as well. Maybe like a bit of new order. I love 80s stuff. My era. Best music ever. Sorry if it's not on camera. I'm just holding the one hand and painting with the other. 
Right, anyway, that's the scores. So we've got a cover on, but it's not uh, a brilliant cover. I think I'm better off with Hammerite red paint. I'll have to go buy some more and do them again. I'm not happy with that. Um, but it's covered it anyway for now. So, yeah, Hammerite stuff every time. That's a dual lux. Obviously, I got it given, so... But I'll have to go out and buy some. Hey, do that, you tight wad. Well, I did go over it in another nice red. I went to tip and there were a nice can of red paint there, so I did it again. And I think it's a lot better. There's no streaks in that, so. Some white paint now. And all we have to do to finish the mushroom off. I'm sorry if light's not too good. I don't think that's a very good paintbrush, is it? It's splayed. I'm not going to use that. I'll have to go see if I can find another. Hang on. Bear with me. Yeah. Right, I'm back. As I said, I'm sorry if light's failing a bit, but... Can't help it. It's this time of night. So, here we go. All it needs is just a circle of white. Some big ones. And some small ones. And then it air's damp, so I'm going to put them in. So there's one. If you have a splayed brush, you get the hairs going to outside, so you end up having to make a bigger circle than what you wanted. Right, I'm back. As I said, I'm sorry if light's failing a bit, but... Can't help it, it's this time of night. So, here we go. All it needs is just a circle of white. Some big ones. some small ones and then it airs damp so I'm going to put them in so there's one if you have a splayed brush get the hairs going to outside so you end up having to make a bigger circle than what you wanted.
these are just cheap brushes I got from the works for acrylic painting. Um, don't have to be brilliant. It's a bit cold as this paint. But basically that's it, you just paint white spots on them and it's no Picasso is it? Yeah we know that, we're watching you paint it Buster. So you'd have to kill it with hundreds, you know what I mean? It's uh... that's it. We've got the others to do. We'll carry on with that. Okay. So I'll leave it at that for now, and I shall carry on. See you soon. I've come in because it's uh, getting a bit chilly out there. So, but you can see the way that it's uh, coming together. So, uh, just as by way of a tip, when you when you you are once your brush brush is fully loaded, if you put your brush on, as you turn it and you screw the brush with your thumb like that, you can get almost a perfect circle. Well, I say perfect, but near enough. Anyway, that's your top tip. Well there we have it, they're all sorted now, all painted up, all looking mushroomy. That was a good little project. Uh, I'd say there's no, no else to do now except just drill a small hole in the top and um, then you just screw it into a stake. But you've got to get the wood that looks a bit gnarled and twisted just like a mushroom stalk would be. Um, be selective in how you pick your piece of wood. So in the next clip you'll see what it's like. And they are nice in clusters, but you can have them on their own. Uh, it takes a bit of time, but it's worth the effort, I think. You know, it's scrimping, it's making something out of nothing. These were all tipped in the skip. Chucked away, old walks. So there you have it. If you like my channel, you like the things that I do leave a comment below and uh, maybe like and subscribe or maybe pass me on to some of your friends so they can see my repertoire of what can I call it repertoire of things to do it's good to keep the mind active that's that's what I say and that's what I like to do um, yeah keep your mind active doing things Okay then, right, that's it for now. And there they are. I like them in a clump of three. But you can have them singular. You know, and obviously the more warped the uh, stem. It's a bit of hawthorn, I think. And the other one's a bit of oak. And that one is just a stake, fence stake. But I think you're better off using natural wood. When I say natural wood, I know it's all wood, but I mean, that's processed fence post. I'm talking about straight from the tree. But they look pretty good, don't they? And that's what we're after uh, making as the end product.